the field of biology is changing before our eyes. Human ingenuity and technology have granted us access to life's most intimate secrets. We've cracked the DNA codes of numerous organisms, filled databases with protein information, and documented countless regulatory pathways utilized by cells of all types, shapes, and sizes. The best part? Developments which enable these kinds of discoveries are only accelerating. Technological breakthroughs are becoming more frequent than ever. Each one of those breakthroughs allows biologists to unlock a new layer of detail. The next challenge is to put all that detail, all of this data, to work. This also means we need a different kind of scientist. Someone who can take the pieces of the puzzle and make it whole again. Someone who unites these different kinds of biological data into a model of life. In recent years, this approach has grown popular under the name Systems Biology. Systems Biology is about looking at biological systems as a whole. What these biological systems entail depends on the level of detail at which we examine them. The size of these systems can range from single genes and cells to entire people or animals. Timescales can vary from milliseconds, the duration of molecular movements, to evolutionary timescales. Systems Biology integrates various types of data and knowledge into computer models of living organisms. Through these models, the goal is to not only understand biological systems, but also to be able to predict their behaviour. Such computer models open up endless possibilities. What if we could provide an early diagnosis for people at risk of developing cardiac arrhythmia? Individualised models of electrical conduction in the heart based on imaging data could help with that. Or how about maximising the production of specific compounds by cells like vanilla or insulin through metabolic modelling? Using machine learning, we could even design the perfect diet for someone. This could be based on data coming from wearables like smartwatches and individual parameters like genetics and lifestyle. These examples show how systems biology can provide answers to society's biggest questions related to health and the environment. But hey, don't just take our word for it. An actual systems biology researcher should probably tell you what the future holds. I think one of the most important developments in the field of systems biology at the moment is trying to combine the insights that we derive from large data sets, or really data-driven data science, with uh, mechanistic models where we know how a certain organism or a certain system functions in great detail and trying to combine insights, uh, insights from both to uh, understand biology better and also to make better predictions. I think there are many projects out there currently, for instance, uh, large cohort studies in nutrition, where we try to combine the, the many, many different measurements that we can do on uh, participants with insights uh, about their biology and their biological systems. As you can see, systems biology poses inherently interdisciplinary and collaborative challenges. The field sits at the crossroad of biology, mathematics and computational modelling. Experts from these fields frequently work together as a team. However, this doesn't mean you need to be an expert on every single topic. In fact, this is quite uncommon. What is more important is that you, the expert, can communicate and collaborate across disciplinary boundaries. This is exactly what we offer you at Maastricht University. With us, you will get the opportunity to explore and step into your role within the field of systems biology. At the same time, you obtain the necessary communication and collaboration skills to make a real difference. We are Maastricht University, the most international university of the Netherlands. We are a student-centred university. Student needs and quality education are our first priority. Our teaching methods are unique within the Dutch academic landscape. We also offer you access to cutting-edge systems biology research. Maastricht University has its own systems biology research group, the Maastricht Centre for Systems Biology, or Max Bio. In the Systems Biology Master's programme, you will be taught by numerous researchers involved with Max Bio and other research groups. You will also be as close to research as you can get. 
During the two-year programme, you'll have access to state-of-the-art facilities like high-performance computing clusters. The data flowing from the latest technologies on our campus are yours to play with. This includes data from MRI scanners, multimodal molecular imaging facilities and cell biology laboratories. Our program distinguishes itself by its unique teaching methods. We combine problem and research-based learning. Problem-based learning, or PBL in short, is designed to stimulate active learning and improve collaboration in multidisciplinary groups. In practice, this means you will solve challenging problems in each course. You'll gain even more hands-on experience from our teaching method, which is called research-based learning, or RBL in short. Through research-based learning, you translate your knowledge to skills by working on real-life challenges. Our program director will tell you more about what makes our program so unique. There are three elements that make the program in systems biology so unique. Uh, the first one is the fact that the program is designed to cross discipline borders. So we study knowledge, understanding and skills of biology, math and computational modeling. The second aspect, I think, is the small class setting. So the fact that we have very small classes and sometimes even smaller working groups provides multiple opportunities for interaction between the students and our, our educational staff. Our educational staff are actually as, assistant, associate and full professors that are very well established in the field. And I think the third element is the fact that our educational model is extremely collaborative. So we use problem-based learning and research-based learning that um, pushes students to work in very interdisciplinary and international groups to you know, share expertise and answer very challenging problems. Our interdisciplinary program focuses on three main disciplines biology, mathematics and data science. You will take courses on all of these topics and on the topic of experimental data. Here's the reason for that. I think it's uh, very important to teach our students a combination of uh, biology, uh, mathematics, data science because um, systems biology is, is not a, a singular topic. We need expertise from all of these different fields. That also means that our students need to be comfortable in all of these different fields. That does not mean that they need to be expert at every single piece of expertise that you could get in the field of systems biology, but at least they need to understand it, to talk to other people that have a certain expertise and to apply their own knowledge in a broad, multidisciplinary team. The schedule for the first year looks like this. September is the only moment you can start this programme. Each year is made up of two semesters, which consist of three periods. The first two periods last for eight weeks each. They are reserved for compulsory courses, which provide you with a solid understanding of the programme's main disciplines. During periods with courses, you will spend around 20 hours a week on tutorials, lectures and skills trainings. This leaves around 20 to 24 hours for independent study. After the first two periods, you work on your four-week research project. You will have two of these in your first year. During these research projects, you work as a group with around seven other students. Together, you use the knowledge you obtained from your classes to tackle a real-world research problem. Just like in real life, you are responsible for everything from research and project management to reporting the results. Projects run full-time. One of our lecturers will tell you more about the research projects. It's very important that uh, the students, once they go into a project, uh, incorporate the, the knowledge that they gained from the different courses that they followed so far. But that's mostly uh, theoretical and some practical knowledge, but on a very individualized basis. So within these projects, we really use uh, research-based learning where the students together, and that's very important, together work on a current research uh, topic. So it's not only um, applying their knowledge in, for instance, mathematics, and biology, computer science, but also developing their skills as um, collaborating researchers. We have uh, two student projects at the moment in the curriculum, um, both focused on uh, what you could see as different aspects of systems biology. One really focused on analyzing large data sets and letting the data tell you what's going on with a certain biological system. 
specifically uh, in this project, the students look at gene expression in the heart uh, of healthy individuals and diseased individuals and look whether they can see differences at molecular levels between those two different conditions. Then we have another project that is more focused on mechanistic modeling, where we actually kind of know how a certain system works, in this case, the uh, auditory cortex in uh, the human brain that processes a sound uh, uh, from the environment, for example. Uh, we have a model of that in a particular tool and students manipulate that model to see uh, how that model responds to different sounds, different pitches, different modulations, but also kind of what happens when you start breaking the model and making it, for example, uh, resemble more a situation of a person with hearing loss or uh, something similar to that. After the first semester, you will encounter elective courses. By choosing different combinations of elective courses, you can pick your own specialisation. You will follow the courses of your choice during two periods of eight weeks each, which is followed by another research project. The second year starts with eight weeks of elective courses. You finish your master's programme with an internship and finally your master's thesis. The master's thesis is the most important research challenge you will take on. One of our lecturers is happy to explain this part to you. Uh, what we see when our students go on to uh, perform their master thesis research is that they uh, choose many different topics, uh, both from the biological side but also from the approach and methodology uh, side. And uh, some of these projects are uh, more complex with regards to the mathematics and the modeling, and some are more um, complex with regards to the biology. So there's this balance between those two aspects and depending on the interests of an individual, uh, it goes in either uh, direction. Your main takeaway should be that the curriculum is flexible. You can get in-depth knowledge in the mathematical track, expand your skills in data science or dive deeper into biological systems. Through elective courses and various research project opportunities, you take charge of your own curriculum. If you would like to know exactly which courses we offer, please download the brochure on our website. So you'll graduate with a master's degree in systems biology. Where does that take you? As technology unlocks new types of information and the amount of data keeps growing, so does the demand for systems biologists on the labour market. This holistic approach to biological systems will allow you to tackle important challenges in healthcare, research, biotechnology, agriculture, education and more. Some of our graduates go on to obtain a PhD degree, others start a career in business or in the public sector and some even go on to start their own company. The possible job titles are diverse. You could become a bioinformatician, researcher, consultant, policymaker, entrepreneur and more. In our admissions process, we put some emphasis in uh, the background in math, simply because we want to make sure we recruit students that have enough background in math to be successful in the program. But more than anything else, I think we put more emphasis in the motivation letter and in the interview process, because it's via the motivation letter and getting to know the student in the interview process that we realize uh, whether the student actually understands that this is an interdisciplinary problem, a program that requires extra effort to uh, understand concepts across the interdisciplinary borders. Are you up for the challenge? To enroll for the program, you need a bachelor's degree in a relevant field, such as biology, biomedical or life sciences, informatics or mathematics. Since the programme is taught in English, we also request proof of English proficiency. Above all, you need motivation. Systems biology students enjoy being challenged and like to work across disciplines. Our Board of Admissions will evaluate every application individually. Finally, you should know if you're a student coming from outside of the European Union or European Economic Area, we ask a handling fee for processing your application. When you come to study with us, the handling fee will be refunded to you. Would you like to know more details about the registration and admissions procedure? Please have a look at our website. That's it from us. We'll leave the closing words to our Director of Studies. Thank you, and I hope we get to see you in one of our online events or here in Maastricht. Thank you.